I'm like getting it. like eight boxes. Yeah, no. I think their kids eat it every day. Do y'all eat Annie's macaroni and cheese? What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. Tanea's having some lunch. And we're back with an all-new video. I think we are here in less than a week. New year, new us. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, it's Tuesday, February the 27th. Yes, Shout out to my sister Mia. I want to give her a birthday shout out now because mm -hmm. we won't make a new video before her birthday comes. Okay. She is a leap year baby. So mm -hmm. this year she actually gets a birthday and that's perfect because she turns 40 this year. The big 4-0. I was like, wow. I kept kind of figuring out like how many years apart Mia and Mia were. Now I know. Three. Now that we're this age. We're three years apart. Um, it's so crazy. Like I was literally telling somebody that my my parents were trash because... Sometimes we shared a birthday party. Mm -hmm. I am February the 2nd and no she is way. February the 29th. Now, come on. Ain't no way. Come on. I would have had to put my foot down. My mother's probably watching this. She mm -hmm. literally, she, she going to tell me last week, I saw you in there talking about me too. Don't be telling people um, what happened. Oh my God. Anyway, and mm -hmm. also, so happy birthday to my sister Mia. Happy um, birthday, Mia. She's having a small gathering this week, and then she is having like a international cruise going yep. on. Mm -hmm. Wish I had the funds, but mm -hmm. you know how that mm -hmm. come. I'm a cry. And it has also been one week since we lost our dog, Chippy Chippy. I miss him so much. I miss just saying his name and like calling him. Because we always call him and it's always more than one name and mm -hmm. we always say it. Chippy Chippy. More than one. Chipada, handsome man. Mm -hmm. Hey boy. Yeah. Like I just, I miss him so deeply. Much. And I just, I shout out to the people who have been watching my TikTok Ooh. videos and who have just been commenting to us and stuff like that. Um, especially people, so many people told me that they lost their dog to cancer or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. old age. I feel like the pet owners who have actually lost the dog can really feel me. I feel like people should tell. I should be like, you know how like it's commercials out here for like adopting a dog and changing a dog's life? Mm -hmm. I know it should come with like warnings like mm -hmm. your dog could possibly die mm -hmm. from cancer yeah. and there's nothing you can do about it it's been hard um i was telling my mother the other night like i just, was like i just don't think y'all understand like especially my mother um because i don't think we've ever lost a dog to die and it was more mm -hmm. so like i'm tired of this but you know what i just don't also it's, i think it's an old people thing because i think nene was like oh you said yeah oh don't nene was right there when i called the vet to get them get him put to sleep she was like so i need to be done what <laughs> like am i sad don't state the obvious my son sense. is gone am i sad so but i just was telling her i was like my i lost my son like you're not getting it like you're really not getting it it's just like a really, they really don't empty lonely feeling and i just miss his presence so much especially like now that it's been a week like i'm really seeing the true personality of my menace of a dog, Peppa. Mm -hmm. And she is. She's boring as fuck. He like, was a good balance. They were, he was like, they were like yin and yang. Like, he's yes, such a good balance yes. to her because... When me and Cardi was talking last night, she was literally like, Peppa don't do nothing but sleep. Peppa don't... Peppa has been sleep. I'll just use yesterday for example because today I'm out the house. We got up. I walked her. I had a lot of work to do yesterday on my laptop. Peppa laid next to me mm -hmm. from nine o'clock all the way until about five, literally under my thigh. Sleep. Then she got up when she noticed that some food was being warmed up. She wagged the tail and followed me everywhere I went. Then it was time for bed and she slept the whole night. Mm -hmm. And then this morning, she's been by my leg all morning while I worked until I just left. She does nothing. Do sleep nothing day. about her is entertaining. She's a fucking menace. She tried to attack a dog yesterday. She got off of her collar. Literally, the dog was three times bigger than her, y'all. Today, the maintenance man came in to fix my sink. She turned into cool jet. That's That's why. That's why you got and I told her, I said, the way you were an asshole on Sunday, maybe this is why you're sleeping so much Monday, but that's not true. She's a sleepy ass bitch. 
no point intended. I mean, no pun intended. Like, oh, yeah. she's born, but Chippy was like on your heels all day. Mm -hmm. He didn't sleep all day. He did sleep, but the littlest noise would wake him up. He ate and drank. Peppa, hey! Now, what the hell are you hitting me for? All right. The cat is literally on her legs hitting me. Yeah, I just want to say that. Um... Peppa does not eat. Um, I always tell people that Peppa waits until the very end of the night mm -hmm. once she's seeing the white light and Anything. she has discovered like, okay, nobody's going to feed me. Nobody's going to feed me today. I guess I'm going to have to eat my dog food. She eats just enough so she does not pass out and then she goes back to sleep. Like when I walked her this morning, there was no bowel movement. She just had a couple of sprinkles because she doesn't eat. Chippy ate. I thought, you know, a lot of times our behavior was just to be injured. Yeah. He ate, he drank, he begged. I'm also noticing, especially at the last couple months, Peppa will beg, but she has a time limit. Like, once she realized you're not giving to her, she be like, I'm not about to mm -hmm. sit in your face and do this. I'm going to lay back he down. He didn't get tired. He doesn't have any He did not get tired. He even started to touch your leg. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm here. I want a piece. You. I didn't forget. He barked when people walked by. The littlest noise made him jump up to make sure we okay. Like I always said, like, I knew Chippy was not going to do shit. But at least he tried to show us that I am trying to protect y'all. Even though I'm not going to do shit. I'm at least let y'all know somebody here. Somebody come in the house. Child, if, if Peppa sleep, we all going to get done. Have y'all ever seen that meme with the person in the bonnet? Looking over, annoyed, like, why are you opening my door? You ever seen it? I don't know. I'm going to send it to you. That's Peppa. So, she's literally what they call a lap dog. Mm -hmm. She doesn't do anything. She doesn't do anything. I even miss, like, just watching how he walked. Like, when we would walk, he pranced. He was just such Sometimes a Sometimes you're a little two-step. Yes. Like, Chippy was fun. Like, Peppa was so boring. But I love her so much. She's so, I'm going to show you the picture I took her before I left. She's sleeping. She's so adorable. It's just crazy to me that she is so tiny and this is her full size. Mm -hmm. This was her before I left. And this is what she does all day. All fucking That's all she does. That's why me and her, <laughs> honestly. This is today's child. We are a two peas in a pod because we be sleep all day. So yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm in a way better space than I was last week because last week I was just sobbing like, I still miss him so much like all day. Um, They did call to tell me that his paw print and they cut like a lock of his hair out for us. Oh. I guess I'll keep one and I'll give today a one. Um, but I just, I'm not ready to go get it because it just seems so final. No, like, it's so crazy because I have the, um, the collar. The collar on my keychain. I was just like, should be his neck. neck I know and even when I see like uh -oh. old pictures and videos of him like just because of how traumatic his neck was when we last saw him I just be like wow like look at his beautiful neck like nothing was wrong with him he was so happy and healthy y'all don't understand what his neck looked like when we saw last saw him it was very insane but <sighs> very sad very um sad. and i am on week Ooh. two of recovering from a hysterectomy and mm. i'm doing pretty good um i'm ready to be healed somebody told me yesterday like bitch it's been two weeks like, right you lost fallopian twos uterus and cervix it's like bitch day. lay down but i'm just ready to be better i don't have time for this but anyway let's get into this week's topics so first i want to give a shout out to carefree and crystal because they met Beyonce last week. Excuse me, so beautiful. It, first of all, can I just mention that this was not planned? Like, we both have on a Beyonce shirt. It's just oh, crazy. Wow. <laughs> you don't have to work today? It's not like I had to go in. Oh, I wore this to work today in my building. She's a nut. She's no one. She knows I'm home. Um, but they met Beyonce last week, um, and they just told the whole story about they, how they um, mm -hmm. met her. I forgot my jewelry. Please don't pay us. You know how today feels about earrings. earrings. My arm feels so naked. At least you have my earrings because. Um, but yeah, they were telling the story. If y'all haven't heard it, um, look up. This is the read on the podcast on your podcast app. That's where I would listen to it. I don't know where everybody else listens to it, but um, you know, we've been listening to the read for years. Like we love Kid Fury and we love Crystal and. It's just so rewarding to see other Beehive members yeah, no. get to see her. Like, when you bitches 
who don't even fuck with Beyonce meet Beyonce, that's when I'd be feeling some type of way. I could never feel some type of way about an honorary Beehive member mm -hmm. meeting our fave. Yeah, like, like, there like we're is... we're all one. Exactly. We won when you yeah. met her. I honestly, it instantly made me feel like me and Tanae's time is coming. Like, that's instantly how I felt. Like, I know some people felt some jealousy and envy. And you should I not feel envy. that way. I felt... I I just was so happy. I was like, so I happy felt joy, and grateful, like joyous, like oh my god. And then when they just explained how nice she was, mm -hmm. and she was just telling them it's so nice to meet you. She said that she just stares in your eyes the entire conversation. She hugged them. She was holding Whatever their hands as they do. spoke and. They were laughing and chopping it up. And they said it was only six minutes, but it felt like an eternity. Well, no, no. Do you know how long six That's minutes That's what I is? said. Six, six minutes with Beyonce? Beyonce? Now, do you agree with what Simone said? What's your pick? Now, Simone said that she would rather meet Beyonce at like, like, let's say like last week with, or a, a month ago, whenever LeBron James' party was, and Beyonce was there. So he said she would rather meet Beyonce in like a club setting to where it's not so intimate. I Said absolutely not. Can I tell you something? Absolutely not. Because I would have been one of those bitches in the line at the Grammys. I'm taking whatever <laughs> the fuck I can get. Beyonce! I'm going to be there. Yo. I'm taking whatever I can get. I'm no, because. I know a lot of y'all haven't heard the story yet, but Kid Fury was basically telling the story about how he kind of fumbled. Like, he oh, literally turned into a vegetable. He said, <laughs> inside of his body and mind, he was saying, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, ah, we can do this. No, but I can understand how he did it. He said he just stood there and, like, cried. Like, he was like, he couldn't even get any words out. Like, he was like, it was so overwhelming that he was ready to leave. Yeah, no, absolutely. I am Chris. I can understand. I've been knowing what I wanted to say to Beyonce for years. Yeah. The only thing that's different this year is that I add more shit to it every yeah. fucking year. Yeah, each time I every time she longer. drops something new, every time she blesses us with a new album, new music, I was this fucking tour, <laughs> bitch, she gonna be tired of me and Tanae because neither one of us gonna freeze up. Fuck no. I know exactly actually, what I wanna say. Gonna be like, actually, oh, yeah, time. yeah. You Let's go ahead and get the picture so y'all can go. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna see that's the thing like this conversation that we're gonna have with her is gonna open up more conversations we're gonna have with her because she's gonna fall in love with us i already know this, this. Is so funny i'm so happy for um them i'm so happy i am for them. i I'm am so happy especially for them. even Fairy. with kid fairy not being able to say what he needed or wanted to say i'm still so happy for but him. he said it made him want to live and you know kid fairy has had his moment over the past couple of years and that is a win that's a win um i that, and that's what i'm saying about somebody meeting beyonce where beyonce actually means something to them so yeah and um simone was saying that she felt like she would cry too oh i see the thing about it is i know i'm gonna cry but i'm gonna be talking but i'm gonna be talking too like i'm gonna be able to i can i can get through it i'm gonna be able to get through it because let me tell you something i have a battle with myself in my head every day tanaya tanaya keep it cool tanaya keep it cool tanaya do not be an idiot i yeah. have to tell my, myself these things every day so it's just like i can't wait for our moment i'm probably also want to be a little bit high mm -hmm. So it'll be like it'll probably be like the highway is way way and also I'm still gonna be a little calm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I this is one of the But I thought this would have been a great cause they first they got to go get their hair done at this uh sacred lab. Is it secret or sacred? Secret. It's sacred. Sacred. Tanae, you ordered some, right? I did. Tanae will give us a review <laughs> and make sure gets to use it. But this would yes, Kari. Huh? Twenty thousand dollars. Yes. A year? No, just for six year term. I'm confused. You would get twenty thousand. That's kind of a lot. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's a. I'm taking forty thousand for four years, and that's all we Yeah, I feel like that's good. We also recording the video. She doesn't care. Okay. Um. So yeah, I I can't. What was I just saying? 
I don't know. I'm touching she garbage. She gets on my nerves. She, always, she just took the thought out of my brain. That's how you shouldn't have kids. Oh, I was saying, oh, well, first of all, I was saying how you pronounce it. But I was saying, Secret. it's so funny. My sister-in-law texted me like three weeks ago when we had did a video. I think this was when you had like the ginger hair. And she was just like, can you just tell Tanea that every video that I watch, her hair is different. I'm going through something. <laughs> Have you been going through something for over 10 years, bitch? Every, yo. Excuse me. Yes. You <laughs> Today's hair. today's hair is different every single video. Y'all can just do 2024. Ah! I guarantee you, every single show, her hair is different. Look at mine. It'll be like swoop, 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 swoop. This bitch be curly, wet, straight, ponytail. Uh, what's this? The dangerously in love look. The girl is wild. But I feel like that would have been like a good experience for Tanea because Tanea is definitely into hair care products and she's into like her hair and stuff. That would have been perfect. Because Crystal said she had a great time and she said those products were amazing. So I know you're going to enjoy I, um, I'm, I'm, I'll show y'all what I got when I do my video. Yeah. But you know, I can actually tell y'all now. I got two shampoos. Because hold on, let me tell y'all. Oh, I, I keep on doing this because we got a light right here so I can't see myself. <laughs> it takes chlorine. And at first, I was only going to get one shampoo and one conditioner. But then when I went and checked out and I saw Klein, I said, oh, skip, 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 go back. So I got two shampoos and one conditioner. So I'll let you guys know. I didn't get the hair oil, even though everybody is saying it's light. I just don't really like oil in my hair. And so I just didn't feel like it was necessary for me to get it yet. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have the two shampoos and um, conditioner. So. I would like the oil because I like my L. I like my yellow. Oil. Oh yeah, no. But I don't think it's like that. I don't think it's like all for your scalp. It's all for your hair. Oh, like you just rub the yeah, it's like your through your hair. So um, just real quick, I actually pulled them up so that y'all could see. This girl has like a flip over, a flip over. Then her hair is in like a curly bush. Then she has braids. Then she has a puff ball. Then she has like a banging in the I mean, a middle part. With her hair. Then she has on a wig with the middle part. Then she has her little braids that she gets. Then she's a ginger. Then her hair's wet. Then it's in a ponytail. Then it's in a, a damn bush. Literally, every video, her that, hair is different. I call that bush a little ice spice. Look at look at this these three. Braids out. This was there. nice. That was a nice you can tell my name. But anyway, shout out to Carefree and Crystal. I know that our time is coming and y'all should not be jealous. I know lots of other um, influencers and TikTokers were there and stuff. So shout out to y'all. Um, I know that has to be an amazing feeling and I can't wait to experience yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're in the ghetto. So ignore the background. Let's start off with Mia Copa. I just want to give y'all a degree. I know you didn't fucking watch it. I wasn't going to watch it. She gets on my fucking nerves. Like, she... I was going to say something, but then that YouTuber might watch it, so I'm going to just be quiet. But we're a lot like some other YouTubers, I know. I get the information. I tell her to watch something, and she tells me no. I will show y'all the gif I showed her the other day, like... Oh, I deleted it. It's so ugly. You know I hate hair with kids. Anyway, so the Tyler Perry movie featuring um, Travante Rhodes and... Kelly Rowland mm -hmm. came out. She's been doing a lot of press for this movie. It was a Netflix release. Um, so I wanted to make it a movie night and watch it. You yeah. know, because it's like DC3. Want to support them. Sometimes Tyler Perry movies can be good. But we all know what happens in the end. Yeah. I don't want to spoil the movie for anybody, I guess. But I'll just tell y'all, like, she was an attorney mm -hmm. and she decided to take on a case of this guy. He was an artist. That's mm -hmm. Javante Rose with his finest. That's a fine ass. Fine ass. I would let him make my 590 credit score 300. Wow, well, like, like he was so demanding in the movie too. Like, come here. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, not that's my biggest complaint is that they only had one sex scene. Tyler Perry, what the fuck are you doing? Well, you know, I was looking for like some addicted type shit. All right, calm down. Some Zane shit. Like, what are we doing? Um, but maybe that was in Kelly's contract. I don't know. Yeah. 
So she decides to take lady. on his case because he has been accused of killing his Mexican girlfriend. Oh wow! Him and the girl have not known had not known each other that long. He literally met her while he was in like Paris or Rome or some shit and brought her back to the states. They were only together for like five months, and then he was accused of killing her. Mm. Nobody wanted her to take the case, including her brother-in-law, because he was actually the other lawyer on the other side oh. trying to prove him guilty. Wow. So I'll just say this. The movie started out great. Like, I was like, wow, I'm really into this movie. Like, Tyler Perry, you did your big one. Somewhere mid-movie, Kelly Rowland decides that she don't want to be his lawyer no more. She done fucked him. Shit done got real. She can't deal with it. She decided to go on vacation to the Dominican Republic. And look, skip this part if you don't want to know. While she, randomly, mm -hmm. she's on a resort, coming back from a run, headed to go in her room. Turning the key, she turned to the side to see the housekeeper. Who's the housekeeper? The fucking girlfriend. That's supposed to be dead? That's supposed to be yes, dead? Yes, bitch! Everything went downhill from there. That's so fucking unrealistic. Are you fucking kidding me? It's not like they were making it like the girl was like following Kelly or anything. She just randomly happened to bump into the girl. Oh, wow. Then they get back. And basically, like, the the her best friend is married to her husband's brother. Mm -hmm. The one that's the other lawyer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I want you to come to the house. Also, what was unrealistic was the casting for the husband and the, hus the husband's brother, their mother. They look like Indians. Mm -hmm. The mother was, like, a white person with blue eyes and blonde hair. I'm not sure where you were going with that, Tyler. But she was like a bitch. Let me look at the case. Yeah, she was a bitch. She hated Kelly. She, and he, she already had some other girl lined up that she wanted him to be with anyway. So she's like, oh, come to the house. Come to, um, come to um, you know, the mother-in-law's house. And she's like, I don't want to come there. Like, she's literally just getting back from my so hold on. Who, who are they? So this is her husband. This is Kelly's husband. This is the oh, brother. Oh, Kelly's married. Yes. Yes. Okay. So to a piece of shit. Okay. Yeah. So this is Kelly's husband. That's the brother. Mm -hmm. And this is Kelly's husband's brother. Yes. This is her best friend, but this oh, is also her husband. Right. And this is the mother. Oh, wow. Now, wow. come on. Were they adopted? No. And that's nobody's brother. No. He's just the client. Okay. And her husband didn't want her to take the case because his brother was doing. Right. Neither one of them, like, she didn't want it. He didn't want it. Or he didn't want it. Like, you were making a big deal okay. about, like, no, you can't. So they get back and basically the brother tries to kill Kelly. It turned into like, like a whole get out situation. Like they were trying to kill her. He ended up killing his wife. So long story short, this was all a setup from the get go because he found out that the artist fucked his wife. He found out that Tremonte Rooks, I mean the sexy man fuck Kelly. No, his wife, the best friend. Oh, also he fucked both of them. Yeet. But he's like a he's he fucks women. He fucks but when you women. just said that, that's what and, and literally as soon as you told me that she bumped into the girl, I was like, hmm, this sounds like a setup. So well, we didn't tell me. Oh. Yeah, that's why I, I said remember. skip this part. I don't know what to tell y'all. It's a Tyler Perry movie. Um... So, yeah, like, they all end up trying to kill her. And then in the end, he gets off uh, the, the artist. Everybody ends up dying. All of them end up dying. I think the the brother might have died. Both of the brothers. The brother I can't remember. The, I can't. I checked out. Who I killed these people? They killed themselves. I don't know. I don't, oh. I don't know. Um, Did Kelly die? No, Kelly did not die. So, Kelly stayed alive. The, and the artist stayed alive. Yeah, and then, look. So, she runs from the house. The husband's not there. Supposedly, the husband doesn't know anything that's going on. He's on his way to the house. She running from the house, just like get out. When he left, you know, he finally breaks free. Mm -hmm. Running up the road, running up the road. The husband comes driving down. What's wrong? What's wrong? Your brother tried to kill me. Your mother and the male tried to kill me. Da, da, da. She gets in the car. They start driving. And then she realizes he knows. And he's a part of it, too. And he's like, I can't let you leave. Da, da, da. Like, he was going to be a part of the whole murder, too. So Her husband was trying to kill her? That was all a setup.
Yeah. It was all a setup. Um, so long her story short. Her husband tried to kill her because her best friend had sex with Travante Rose and the other husband, husband was mad. They was going to take this. This is down. actually sounding very, very disgusting. They and you know, I, yeah, it was very stupid. Um, and then Travante gets off. Well, his name is Zaire in the movie. He gets off and she, um, he's popular. So, uh, all of the news cameras are following him and he's like, you know, and I want to give a shout out to Kelly Rowland, whatever her name is. Mia, Mia. Culpa. But her I, name wasn't... It's not Mia Culpa. No, it wasn't. Mia, like something else. Yeah. Um, what was Culpa for? No, Culpa, I mean, means something. Okay. So, Mia, um, he's like, I want to give a shout out to Mia if it wasn't for her, da, da, da. And she's like in a corner, like across the street with glasses on, like to hide herself, smiling like, wow, we did it. And then she walks away and that's the end of the movie. Tyler, kiss my ass. Let me tell you something. I want you to actually let the other writers put their opinions in. Because mm. you had a winner. I mean, you won in the end anyway. Everybody watched it. They don't say the whole name, but yeah, her name is Mia. Everything. It was good until she got to the Dominican Republic. It just turned to shit. Like, I don't... But y'all can watch it if you want to. Oh, well, I enjoyed it. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. I mean... I encourage you just to skip to the sex scene. It was a, it was, it was beautiful. He is so fine. Oh, it means guilt or fault, criminal negligence. Yeah, so, I don't know. So I mean, I, if she fucked her, um, the person that she's defending in court, I guess that's perceived. Yeah, because perceived. everybody was. I mean, well, because she had interviewed somebody else that had been in a relationship with him, and she was just like, you know, basically, she was like, you probably already fucked him, didn't you? Yeah. And she was like, um, he probably showed you his paintings. And, and like, literally everything that he did with her, the girl was saying it. Like, really reading her well, ass girl, the filth. have you seen him? <laughs> of course I have. She was like, I ain't gonna lie to you. The nigga fine. Yeah, he is. He fine. Yeah, but he is. ain't shit. I so, love. watch your back. Um, moving on. Ooh, which one do I want to do first? Oh, God. Both of them gave me a headache. Let's go with Wendy Williams. Mm, 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 mm. Wendy Williams has a new docuseries out called Where's Wendy Williams and right before it aired I think the day before or maybe I was no the day before they were trying to get this shit taken down yeah. they was just like we got, look I don't know why y'all want to put this shit out this is not going to be a good look for her this shit is embarrassing I know whoever is in charge of her shit and, and say yes to this movie is probably they didn't think that it would back... I mean, this show, it would backfire on them how it's doing. Because... Baby. I don't know. I already heard some shit about the judge who gave the person guardianship over her. Mm -hmm. She's been investigated in the past for giving people... For, like, judging in favor of people who have... Um, donated to her campaign and shit. Mm. It's like, wow. And we don't even know who it is. Like, they never mention who it is. Every time they mention a person's name, it says beep. Like, I guess she doesn't want to... It's a secret. Well, it's already out there. We already know who she is. a white lady. Oh, really? That's her guardian? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a white lady. Well, how did she get picked to be the guardian? Nobody knows. Okay. Because that was the biggest question. Like, what? how did you get here? Because it was, I thought it was like the son. Well, see, let me tell you came. about the son. Because the son, little Kevin is so cute. Little Kevin is so cute. Like, oh my God. I couldn't imagine Wendy Williams' face on the man. So I no, imagine. he looks like the father. He looks oh, okay. exactly like the father. But he keeps his, he, he keeps his hair out. Like, it's really curly. Oh, nice. And he's such a nice, respectful young man. He really just wants best, what's best for his mother. Now, I will say little Kevin fucked up. I think little Kevin might be the reason that they appointed her a guardian. They were just talking about how the bank thing works. Mm -hmm. And when they lock it, when they see, like, certain stuff happening... Little Kevin spent a hundred thousand dollars in Uber Eats in one year. I mean, it's doable, but that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Um, and he just said, as far as the rest of the stuff, which Wendy Williams keeps saying in the documentary, I was trying to keep up with her lifestyle. Like the the girl is luxurious. Yeah. And she said it. She was like, oh, I like the finer things in life. Yeah. Like, so less, if he was so. taking care of her, she probably was like. And imagine, imagine a condo she was imagine saying. Imagine how she's talking to these people now. Out of her mind. So I'm just saying, I want this. I want this. Like, and he's probably trying to 
make her as comfortable as possible and give her the stuff that she wants. Like, yeah, regardless of all of that, I truly believe that her family does want what's best for mm -hmm. her. I don't think that they are trying to use Wendy by any means. Yeah. Like, they literally, I mean, Wendy Williams, I'm glad to hear that, like, right now, currently, I think she might be in a facility or something because... You can see the dementia mm -hmm. all up and through here. In the first two episodes, nobody mentions dementia. They think that this has to do with her drinking problem. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't know Wendy Williams had this drinking problem. I mean, it's bad. She's I, drinking like a full I bottle of vodka problem. in a day. Like, yeah, so they're thinking it's that. And like her eyes are about to pop out her socket. She has lymphedema on her feet. I've never seen lymphedema on anybody's feet. Like, when you watch my sister of her life, it's at the bottom of their stomach. It's on their leg. Mm -hmm. It's on her feet, y'all. Mm -hmm. She says she can only feel 2% of her feet. Yeah, I've seen it on people's feet on their it's, I've it's never awful. seen it. And she said that it's no cure for it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. it's no care for it I guess it's not because I know on my 600 pound life like once they lose weight he's able I think to remove it or something yeah but and it starts yeah. to get better once you lose weight but I don't think it's any yeah this is the craziest documentary I have seen in a long time y'all I mean just to see I'm no Wendy Williams fan mm -hmm. y'all know that like at I had already really not been like a big Wendy Williams fan anyway but once Beyonce got pregnant and she started that bullshit and then I found out that she was trying so hard to have a child, had like two miscarriages mm -hmm. before she had little Kevin, and you thought that it was a good idea to treat Beyonce the way that you did? It would be one thing if like she had mentioned it one time when Beyonce's stomach bent in. I mean, the world had a comment about that. She had shit to say about Beyonce while she was pregnant the entire fucking time. So much that Beyonce even added it into her fucking documentary. So I just can't respect no woman who went through almost the same issues as Beyonce did because Beyonce had had a miscarriage right before Blue Ivy just like she did right before her son. It's more than just you being a gossip person like you're a woman at the end of the day that shit is not fucking funny that shit is not funny i mean you were still sharing shit about her when she was nine months pregnant bitch what the fuck so i, I had already that had just like sealed the deal for me i don't like her um i feel like she is like like you know how diamond and the other lady was for like the trump campaign mm -hmm. that's how she is for white women like she's just I can't, I just can't, um, be entertained by no, uh, messy ass black person. Like, it was almost, it was like giving me Perez Hilton, but black woman. Mm -hmm. She's not and as bad as Perez. Hilton. No, yes the fuck she is. Yes the fuck she is. Yes the fuck she is. Yo. They both are awful. And that's why Whitney Houston was about to whoop that ass. Not just her. And I wish she would have. Total was about I to listen to Y'all don't know how often I listen to that phone call. No, Whitney, please. No, because Whitney, Whitney, Whitney was ready to be ass. You, you're lucky I'm a lady because I would meet your ass the fuck outside. Okay? <laughs> um, But even with all of that being said, I'm still like, Damn. Yeah, this is. Like, I, I don't wish this, this is sad. On nobody. I wouldn't wish this on like, anybody. Wendy very looks sad. so bad, and like the people that she has around her, because she's not around her family. I didn't know that Wendy's whole family lives in Miami. Mm -hmm. Um, she said years ago her parents had called her and was like, "Yeah, we're tired of the winter." And she was like, I got them an apartment in Miami. And then like the rest of my family just kind of followed yeah. them. And she was like, I worked in New York, so I just ended up staying in New York. So she's in New York by herself with this publicist mm -hmm. and this man these managers and like her niece was saying at the end of the day of course they want wendy to still do certain things because that's how they get yeah, fucking that's paid. how they get paid you know the what the publicist snuck and took her to la and wendy comes out after see after getting hair and makeup and she you know how she wear the little shorts that come right under her cooch and fendi stockings and her fendi shirt she's just like oh my god wendy you look so good. And she's just like, I don't know why, like when they had the confession, I don't know why people are, like they have all of these um, accusations and wondering what's going on with Wendy. Wendy's doing great. Wendy looks great. And I'm just like. Is everybody on credit? Wendy's eyeball is about to pop out of the socket. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Wendy, no. she asked Wendy, 
When do you want to go to the Oscars this weekend? What's the Oscars? And she was like, it's like an award show. She was like, okay. She was like, I'm wearing what I have on then. And she was like, no, you got to wear evening wear. You think Wendy's okay and she don't know what the fucking Oscars yes, is? The nice thing is also, these people need to go to fucking jail. They do. For abuse. They do. Um, And it's just like sad because it's like when you get to this point of where you are like being in like, a sickness or whatever is going on like she an illness like she needs to be with family because you need to be with somebody that's like empathetic exactly and uh when i was seeing the clips i didn't know what was going on but now that you are explaining it everything that she said the person she they deserve it mm -hmm. they deserve the treatment they deserve being talked to like no because no. so, stop talking to her like she's fucking regular she was going off on everybody. They, they deserve it. Just move. You're stupid. Now the nail they tech. Are. The nail tech didn't deserve it. Oh, well, I didn't know. see the nail the tech. The nail tech came to do a nail. She told the nail tech she only wanted one coat. So she was just kind of like, okay. So she goes to put it on. She's like, no, I don't want it like that. Take it off. Take it off. Are you stupid or something? Like that's how she be going off on people. Now the nail tech didn't deserve it, but everybody. The driver does not deserve it either. The driver she doesn't had deserve the drivers. It. Okay, so she wanted to go to get new vapes. She's just sucking on a vape constantly. This is another why reason why I feel like she needs to be in a facility because when the managers and shit go home, she lives alone. She's sneaking and ordering liquor. The the vape isn't a secret. I don't know who. She only person that can tell, I guess she can and she can't, is the guardian. The guardian's not there. So she's like, I want to go, but I want to go to this specific one, and it's by the Wendy Williams show. And then she's like, Well, the, the Sherry Shepherd show. They go, the publicist goes in to get it, and she's like, No, this isn't it. Take this back in there. And he's she's like, Take me back to the Wendy show. So they go around, she sees the Wendy Williams show, and they go back around. They go back to the same place. She's like, oh, here's another one. He said, this is the one that you always get. Because she told him, like, oh, he knows who I am. Mm -hmm. So he'll know what to get me. This isn't it. Take it back in there. Take it back in. Like, flip it out. And take me back to the one. They, the driver had to drive around almost six times to pass the Wendy Williams mm. show. And to the point where the camera crew and the producers came and said, we're going to cut. Because I think she's having, like, an episode. Yeah. And y'all may need to take her home. My thing is, I really don't feel like Wendy Williams would want us to see this. Side and that's of her. what everybody is saying. And then the Black China scene was so it. Take this shit off the TV. It is fucking sad. If my faves ever go out like this, please don't record it. Cause Jesus, I would have been in tears. I mean, it's Wendy Williams, so I'm not in tears, but I do feel bad for her. There's just so many people like y'all need to advocate for her, like y'all advocated for Britney Spears. Listen, I didn't do anything with Britney no, Spears. No, see, because the thing about it is, Britney Spears needed to get out of that conservatorship. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to get from out of whatever she has going on. She just needs to, somebody new needs to be appointed. Yeah, and I do think she should be given some of her money. Like, yeah, well, and I she needs like to pay her bills and get her wigs and her nails and stuff, then she don't need money to be buying liquor. But, and if she wants to continue, like, she started crying. She cries every time she talks about her son. You can tell she truly loves her son. But if she wants to continue taking care of her son, she should have access to her money to be able to take care of Absolutely. her son. Absolutely. If she wants to be able to pay her father's bills still, she should have yeah, access to, to be that. able to do that. Like, that's the part I don't like. I don't think she should have access to it i think she should have like somebody who like you know disperses it to her oh, yeah. the sabrina, um a new york lawyer named sabrina morrissey who specializes in guardianships yeah no get rid of her get rid of sabrina she's trash oh this says morrissey's identity morrissey i guess that's how you say it identity was revealed after she filed the lawsuit against a and e the lawsuit is sealed i guess she's filing a lawsuit against the show is A and E and Lifetime the same thing? Okay. It's sad, but if y'all want to see it, yeah, y'all want to see some crazy shit, go look it up. It's on Lifetime. It's four episodes out right now. I think it's six altogether. 
Yeah, she was trying to stop the documentary from coming out. Yeah, I don't blame her for that. That's yeah. one good thing that you go through, Sabrina. Well, she didn't want to look bad. Oh, this was she, about her. It was, it was more than likely about her. She probably oh. doesn't want to look bad. Because she looks be. bad now. Yeah, yeah, she does. She absolutely looks bad. And now people are trying, people are finding out who she Because like you said, her, she wasn't mentioned. No, she wasn't. But now she is because... Like they kept saying Guardian, Guardian. Yeah. And then sometimes they said her name. But um, I really do hope that Wendy is in a facility now where she can't drink and she can't smoke that vape. And she's safe. What? Uh, Wendy Williams guardian accused a robbing client in $30 million lawsuit while controlling troubled host finances. Oh my God. This lady is about to go to jail. I hope she does. I mm, hope she mm, does. Mm, 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 mm. Um, but yeah, some sad shit. Moving on. Um, Portia Williams <coughs> filed for divorce against her husband, Simon. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Mm -hmm. Shababwa. I don't know. Um, and of course, a lot of people are just like, well, it makes perfect sense that she's returning back to Real Housewives of Atlanta because now she's about to be broke. And I'm just like, all right. Well, I don't think she's going to be broke. I don't think she's going to she be broke. She doesn't come from a broke family. She was never broke. And remember, yeah. she was married. She probably got money in that one. Mm -hmm. And then Dennis, her baby daddy, probably paid some type of support. And then she probably, if he has money, she probably wouldn't get money from Simon. So, this yeah, they was just talking about the prenup. Something's going on about the she prenup. She is requesting though. that their prenup, whatever it, it be intact, because in their prenup, it says that if they uh, go to divorce, everybody gets to keep whatever they have. Because if it's real that he doesn't have any money and he's a scammer, then he may be, um, you know, he like, may get spousal support. I was going to say, yeah. Um, so, I mean, she ends up finding out that he truly is a scammer and a fraud. Um, I don't think that Portia just found this out. I think that Maybe Portia either. been knew that he had some shit going on with him. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's just best to get out of the situation before it gets worse because that's what I can't understand. Did he file for a green card or a visa or something? And that's what triggered this? I mean, he, once him and Portia got married, he filed for... I guess whatever you have to get to be here. Yeah. And so whenever they did that, that's when they found out that. He's that wasn't smart. That wasn't smart. It wasn't smart. Because um, I know somebody who got a baby father who is here. And um, every time she get mad, she'd be like, I'm about to report you. And then he get his shit together. So that's I would have threatened Simon for the rest of his life. Oh, my God. I'm just saying. But I ain't mad at Portia. You know, I love Portia. I, I'm happy about her coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. Lord knows they need it. Because they're going to lose a lot of friends when okay. Candy leaves. Even though her and Valen weren't friends, you literally <laughs> fucked with your homegirl's husband or boyfriend at the time. All to get divorced from his ass in less than two years because he's a scammer. Valen somewhere. Key, key, and... Well, she was from all last, and it seemed like you were having a great time. I mean, I, I don't feel... I mean, shit, you had like seven weddings. Yeah. I, I hope you don't um, incur any of that fucking debt. Yeah, that part. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It was fun while I lasted, Porsche, but I'm excited to hear um all about it when you return back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. But it is unfortunate because it does seem like that they were like a family with the little girl or whatever. So I'm pretty sure the little girl's gonna be like, Where's Simon at? You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know how Doug, man, he was over there like, Me and my daughter, good, period. I mean, because. I don't think Simon had, I mean, I don't think Dennis had Simon money, but Dennis got money. He well, ain't Simon good. don't have Simon money. Well, I mean, at least his, I mean, y'all was joking about the hot dogs, but I still want to try them, and this is an earnest yeah. living, so. Yeah. Hey. I was like, his ass ain't going to jail for scamming. Dennis wins an end, bitch, I guess. Um, more allegations have come out about Diddy. That, I want to know what's going on with Justin, and why is he in it? Who? The son, the light skinned son. Now, what's going on? For some reason, so some young man. He a music producer or something, right? I don't know who he is. Some young man said he was at Diddy's house for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I think he said that Justin may have sexually assaulted. I don't know because my thing is, I never, I don't, he doesn't what? say that. But it's talking about sexual assault and it has Justin's picture and they just came out and said Justin said it's all lies. So I'm not 
I don't know, but he said that young Miami's cousin also sexually assaulted, assaulted him in the bathroom on Thanksgiving. It's not funny. In the bathroom on Thanksgiving. And that Diddy tried to get off of him to do coke in the bathroom on Thanksgiving. Or was, was this New Year's Eve? It was a holiday. That just passed. Yep. Yep. Touched his genitals. Diddy said that y'all are trying to make him a part of cancel culture and he's not going to let y'all do that. My thing is... Diddy, I don't think you're going to be able to come back from here. My this. thing is know. nobody's trying to cancel... Well... Yeah, I guess they are. They are. But I'm just saying, like, Diddy. What are you talking about right now? They definitely you, I mean, this. you did it. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying about this shit. Like, it, it could be cancel, cancel culture. Like, for example, in the Beyonce song, and I think in the Lizzo song, when they had said a, a, a slur that kind of means, like, slow in mm -hmm. another language. Mm -hmm. And, like, people were trying to cancel them for something that they weren't aware of or something that they really didn't do on purpose. Mm -hmm. That's what, like, a victim of cancel culture is. You know what I'm saying? You're not a victim of cancel culture, nigga. You are out here doing these nasty-ass things to people. And, Diddy, no. you know how I feel about it. I just can't believe it. I told myself, I may need to go to therapy. Yeah, because you... All my men! All your men! All my men! Are fucking crazy. This bitch all my loves R. Kelly. She loves Will Smith. And she loves P. Diddy. Bitch, don't... Put, don't put That's right, I it. said it. That nigga punching people don't, in the face. So what? Like, so what? What did you say? I looked over like, what the fuck do you do that for? Because she doesn't deserve a we fucking... We ain't together, nigga. She don't deserve a nigga bitch. like... If my nigga, if my nigga would have punched another nigga in his face because he thought my feelings was hurt, he's my nigga. Again. He's back being mine. Jay immediately. Out of her she, mouth. We already know how Virgos are, so <laughs> she is a wild for that. Because he, my man, my man, my man, my man. That's how I would have been. You you saw that meme when the man be talking on the news and the lady be like this in the background? Mm -hmm. That would have been me if I was Jada. See, Jada was worried that he was fucking up her lineup. What are you doing, my nigga? Why is you doing all she this right now? We ain't so whatever. The fuck? It don't matter. Um, um, so, yeah, but don't but, say him. Don't speak him. But I was going to say that because you know they keep on dating. Nellie has a lot of sexual assault. Nellie? Yes. Who's, who's, trying to get, who's trying to settle down and get married? So it's just like, Jesus. all my men. Are all these men Scorpios? No, well, um, who, who did you say? Um, is R. Kelly No, R. Kelly is a Capricorn. Really? Yeah. He definitely gives Scorpio. January birthday. He might um, have Scorpio moon, but it's definitely. But, oh no, Nelly is a November cat. Um, oh no, so is Diddy. Shit. I was trying to make them October Scorpio. I, it's unfortunate about Diddy. I never saw this shit coming. You couldn't have told. I don't think Diddy is gonna come back from this. No, I don't. You nasty. You nasty. I don't think he. I don't think he going to but jail you know like what? whatchamacallit. This is also what you niggas get for when you like become so su successful mm -hmm. and so rich and you start doing white people shit. You see your fucking white peers do this nasty ass shit and disrespect their white women. So, and they don't go to jail for it. So, you think you can do it. And look at your black ass. Yes. Legacy is down the toilet while they still giving out awards to um, um, the white man who married his daughter, his stepdaughter. So, it's just like, y'all can't do what the whiteies do. Mm -hmm. It's for them. And this is what the fuck you get for trying to be so white adjacent. I also, while we're on the 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 conversation of men who disgust me. I just wanted to just let you know. I mean, I feel like we've come on this show before and told y'all that from time to time Drake does embarrass oh, us. Like oh, I don't want y'all to think this? that everything that Drake does, like we are a part of that, we accept that, we encourage that, because that's not the truth. Now I can't speak for the rest of my friend group because you know we all all four of us we have a different relationship with Drake. Drake is like this man that I want to meet I well, wow. I want to meet, I want to be, you can't see it on the camera though. Good. I want to be his homegirl, but I thought like from time to time we could just like have relations. Like do yeah, do it, but like no strings attached. Yeah, thick with no complications. I'm 
done with Drake. I'm going to stick with old Drake. That's just where I need to stay at because I mean it when I said it. Every time I say it, I mean it. Anybody who is screaming free Tory Lanez, I just can't be a part of yeah. it. Yeah. Like, because to me, if you don't like Megan Thee Stallion, that's fine. If you don't like that's her your music, that's, hey. you think she's a snitch. But for y'all to be actually saying free this fucking animal Absolutely. who goes around shooting women, he's a fucking imp. He is <laughs> Absolutely not. What are your feelings on Drake right now? Because you 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 give Drake a lot of passes, and I'm sure you're not done with him, but what do you feel? I, today, well, because you know how I am. Yeah, because she'll switch up quick. All oh, I gotta do is let her give Adam no, something like, oh no, sorry, daddy. <laughs> double check and make sure it was really up and it was my thing is it's still up here you had he time to delete it fuck. he don't give a fuck it's just like not you because my thing is you just got cool with this nigga y'all wasn't even speaking like y'all wasn't even friends so now y'all have a common enemy or whatever it's just like it's giving bitch shit it's giving that's that shit I don't fucking like. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just giving I don't want you to fuck around me. Don't. It's giving op. Mm -hmm. Um, it's giving bitch ass nigga. Definitely. Um, it's giving sassy ass nigga. Sassy ass. Fuck. Um, like I just it I it it disgusts me. Disgusting. He disgusts me. He disgusts me. Like, I was literally thinking, like, do I, should I take this nigga off my workout playlist? But right. that's literally 50% uh, of my, yeah, it's 50% of the playlist. Yeah, one of my main playlists is mostly Drake. I'm not So, gonna... <clears throat> I'm not sure, but I want the people out here who are stronger than me. <laughs> Don't go to his fucking concert. <laughs> Don't stream his shit. Unfollow his ass. I want him to lose followers. I want him to feel it how Starbucks is feeling it for not for um, supporting genocide. Like how they losing money. I want that to happen to Drake. I don't know how I can do it, but I have faith in y'all. So I'm hoping that y'all can find one. I haven't really taken it that far. I'm just telling y'all what I can't deal with. Um, I'm still going to stream. Because it's like, why would you do that? It's a dumbass. My thing is because even if you fucking feel like that, bitch. I keep on telling you, stop fucking embarrassing me. He loves to do it. That's all. What <sighs> niggas love to embarrass you. They live for it. They live for Why it. Why would you do that? Disgusting. Um, I am very happy to announce that there is a bench warrant out for Kashawn Rock. Um, because she thinks <laughs> she's invincible. I want her ass to go down, and I'm <laughs> fine with her. One of her many sisters having to watch Little Rock. Um, that's fine with me. Yeah. So, yeah, lock her ass up. If she really did it, lock her up and make her pay. If you do the crime, you got to do the time. Um, and lastly, I just wanted to say, um, I don't know if y'all watch 90 Day Fiance, but I was a little worried last night because it came out that Michael was missing. Y'all remember the African Michael and oh, Mike I Lady Angela? Oh, I was the new season. I was like, I'm missing? No, um, he was missing. Y'all know he finally got to come to America and now um you know he's here i can't remember which one of them southern states she live in she lives in like is it tennessee mississippi or alabama oh because i wanted to say texas i don't know mm -hmm. i can't remember it's white wherever she's it's from white because she white. white as shit um well, there's niggas there because she got black grandkids yeah but she <laughs> she do all the motherfuckers is mixed and then it's like said, a couple of blonde she's ones. She's <laughs> literally the bravo version of Chris Jenner. It's like what the hell? The trailer park version yes, of Chris Jenner. It's really um, absolutely. But he was missing. He's been here for, I think for what they said two years now. Two months. 
His ass says two months. I'm about to order him. My only Trump support ally. Yeah, he don't know no better. Though. He, he don't. don't know no he better. don't know no better. Um, and I was like, oh my god, did the family kill him and bury him? Um, then Simone was Simone and them was like, maybe he went back to um Africa, but they were saying the police was involved. So I was like, well, if he went back to Africa, they would have known. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, come to find them. you said they found him and what happened? Oh, I didn't read it. I just I had just sent it to you. I know they found them. Go ahead. Oh, hold on. It's a ninety day fiance Michael found after being reported missing. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. Oh, he told the police he was afraid for his life and that's why he ran off yeah. on her. Yeah. And contacted the police from a burner phone and sent them pictures of his ID to confirm his identity. I, Michael, blink if you're in trouble because I like Michael. I, uh, Angela looks, I mean, Angela already looked terrible, but now she looks crazy. No, she do. Oh, she, oh, we said all the wrong places. She's from Georgia. A rural town in Georgia. Same. Same difference. They all the same. Um, so yeah, y'all pray for Michael. I want him to go back to Nigeria. He don't need to be here. If Mike, she said, if Michael is really missing and doesn't contact us, immigration can take over. That's all I can tell See you. See how fast the white woman came out? <clears throat> What's that, uh, clip from Drake when he be like, um, he be like, he in LA, he don't belong back there. Yeah. Is where I yeah. Belong, something like that. You don't belong here, Michael. You don't. Georgia? Compared to Nigeria? No, I'm not going to say you don't belong here. You no. don't belong where you are. Yeah, and no. And with whom you're with. Exactly. That's what I mean. Like, I'm fine with you being over here, but yeah, no. And Michael didn't want Angela knowing his location. And I don't blame. She going to kill him. She going to get him killed. She's going to get him sent right back over there. And I don't think he's going to be upset about it, Angela, because obviously he's not having a fun oh, time over there. Oh, he didn't reveal he was missing his disappearance. He was already missing for three days before she said something to the police. Well, maybe she wanted to really, like, check for herself first. Um, mm, poor thing. So, yeah, guys, we got to go because we're heading to an hour into recording. But this was a great video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. When we next see you, it'll be March. Can mm. I believe it's March already? St. Patrick's Day. It's almost airy season. Oh, I need a corn beef. I know. It's, you need to start finding some sales. They're not going to be out yet. It's, it's still February. I'm excited. Don't sometimes they put them out a little early? You just throw it in the freezer? Before. Yeah, I'm excited. I love them. Um... If this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. We'll be here every week with an all new video. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show, and we'll see you guys next week. And if you didn't know, now you know there's no show like the show. We gotta go. See you. Peace out. Like this little one.